Welcome to our channel TrendPulse, where we bring you the latest insights on environmental issues. In today's video, we will explore the lasting impacts of the smoke from Canada's wildfires. Even after the fires are extinguished, the consequences of these wildfires can continue to affect us. So, let's dive in and discover the four ways in which the smoke from Canada's wildfires will impact you. The first way is the long-term effects on air quality. The long-term effects of wildfires on air quality can have significant consequences for both human health and the environment. Smoke particles released during wildfires contain various pollutants, including particulate matter, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, volatile organic compounds, and hazardous chemicals. These particles can remain suspended in the air for days, weeks, or even months, depending on weather conditions and atmospheric dynamics. In terms of human health, exposure to wildfire smoke can lead to a range of respiratory issues, especially for individuals with pre-existing conditions such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, or cardiovascular diseases. Fine particulate matter, known as PM2.5, can penetrate deep into the lungs and enter the bloodstream, causing inflammation and exacerbating respiratory symptoms. Prolonged exposure to these pollutants can increase the risk of respiratory infections, worsen lung function, and contribute to long-term health problems. Furthermore, the environmental impacts of prolonged exposure to wildfire smoke are substantial. Smoke particles can deposit on land and water surfaces, affecting soil fertility, water quality, and aquatic ecosystems. The deposition of nitrogen compounds from smoke can also contribute to nutrient imbalances, leading to changes in plant growth and composition in affected areas. Additionally, the release of greenhouse gases during wildfires contributes to climate change, exacerbating the frequency and intensity of future wildfires and altering weather patterns. Mitigating the long-term effects of wildfire smoke on air quality requires a combination of preventive measures, effective firefighting strategies, and public health initiatives. This includes investing in forest management practices to reduce fuel loads, implementing controlled burns to reduce the risk of uncontrolled wildfires, and developing early warning systems to alert communities about air quality conditions. Additionally, individuals can take precautions by staying indoors, using air purifiers, and wearing masks when necessary to minimize exposure to wildfire smoke. Moving on to the way is health implications. Inhaling smoke-filled air, particularly from wildfires, can have significant health implications, even for individuals located far away from the actual fire zones. The smoke particles released during wildfires contain a complex mixture of harmful substances, including fine particulate matter (PM2.5), carbon monoxide (CO), nitrogen oxides (NOx), volatile organic compounds (VOCs), and other toxic chemicals. When these smoke particles are inhaled, they can irritate the respiratory system and cause immediate health effects such as coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, and throat irritation. Individuals with pre-existing respiratory conditions like asthma, bronchitis, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, are particularly vulnerable and may experience exacerbated symptoms. Furthermore, prolonged exposure to wildfire smoke can lead to more severe health problems. The fine particles in the smoke can penetrate deep into the lungs and enter the bloodstream, causing inflammation and potentially damaging lung tissue. This can increase the risk of respiratory infections, such as bronchitis or pneumonia, and contribute to the development or worsening of chronic respiratory diseases. Moreover, the cardiovascular system can also be affected by wildfire smoke. The fine particles and toxic chemicals in the smoke can enter the bloodstream and have systemic effects, increasing the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiovascular diseases. It is important to note that vulnerable populations, including children, the elderly, pregnant women, and individuals with underlying health conditions, are at higher risk and may experience more severe health effects from smoke exposure. To protect your health during periods of poor air quality due to wildfires, it is recommended to stay indoors with windows and doors closed, use air purifiers if available, and avoid strenuous outdoor activities. Wearing N95 or P2 masks can provide some protection when venturing outside, especially if the air quality is significantly compromised. Now, let's explore the third way, environmental consequences. The wildfires in Canada not only pose a threat to human health but also have significant environmental consequences. The smoke and pollutants released during these fires can cause widespread damage to ecosystems, vegetation, and wildlife. 
One of the major ecological consequences is the loss of habitats. The intense heat from the wildfires can destroy vast areas of vegetation, leaving animals without shelter and food sources. This displacement and loss of habitat can lead to population declines and affect the balance of ecosystems. Some species may struggle to recover and face an increased risk of extinction. Moreover, the smoke and ash from wildfires can result in water pollution. When rainfall occurs after a fire, the runoff can carry sediment, ash, and chemicals into rivers, lakes, and other water bodies. This can contaminate water sources, disrupt aquatic ecosystems, and harm fish and other aquatic organisms. The increase in nutrients and sediment can also lead to algal blooms and oxygen depletion, further impacting water quality and biodiversity. Additionally, the disruption of natural processes is a significant concern. Forests play a crucial role in carbon sequestration, absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere and helping to mitigate climate change. When wildfires occur, large amounts of carbon are released into the atmosphere, contributing to greenhouse gas emissions and exacerbating global warming. The loss of forests also disrupts the water cycle, as trees help regulate rainfall patterns and prevent soil erosion. Furthermore, raising awareness about the importance of preserving ecosystems and reducing the factors that contribute to wildfires, such as climate change and human activities, is crucial for ensuring a sustainable future for our planet. By protecting and restoring habitats, we can help support biodiversity, maintain ecosystem services, and mitigate the environmental consequences of wildfires. Lastly, the fourth way is economic and social impact. The economic and social impacts of Canada's wildfires can be far-reaching, affecting various sectors and communities. The smoke generated by wildfires can have significant consequences for industries such as tourism, agriculture, and infrastructure. In the tourism sector, wildfires can deter visitors from traveling to affected areas. Poor air quality, reduced visibility, and potential safety concerns can lead to cancellations of bookings and a decline in tourist activities. This can result in financial losses for local businesses, including hotels, restaurants, and recreational facilities that rely on tourism revenue. Additionally, popular tourist destinations may suffer long-term reputational damage, impacting their ability to attract visitors in the future. Agriculture is another sector that can be severely affected. The smoke can hamper crop productivity and quality, impacting yields and harvests. Smoke exposure can also harm livestock by affecting their respiratory health and reducing their productivity. Farmers may face economic losses due to damaged or reduced agricultural output, which can have broader implications for food supply and prices. The social implications of wildfires are significant as well. Communities living in or near fire-affected areas may experience displacement and temporary or permanent loss of homes. The evacuation process can be distressing, and the recovery period can be challenging, both emotionally and financially. The displacement of communities can lead to social disruption and strain on social support systems. The psychological impact of wildfires should not be underestimated. Residents who have experienced the trauma of wildfires may suffer from anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder (PTSD) and other mental health issues. The loss of homes, livelihoods, and natural landscapes can have a profound effect on the well-being and resilience of affected individuals and communities. As we conclude this video, it's important to remember that the consequences of Canada's wildfires extend far beyond the immediate firefighting efforts. The impact on air quality, health, the environment, and society can persist long after the fires die down. By raising awareness and understanding these effects, we can work towards minimizing the damage caused by wildfires and protect our planet for future generations. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Also, subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content on environmental issues. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.